Hello YouTube and welcome to another video with me over the line. At the moment we're driving the BMW M6 GT3 which is the newly released car in the GTR 3 pack on Race Room. Currently going around Moscow Raceway, uh, the full version, as we will be taking the combination of the two uh, around the track this Sunday at Checker Flag Endurance. So as usual we're going to go into slow motion for our first lap and then full speed for our next. Uh, fingers crossed it will help you guys get a bit closer to the front of the grid. So let's go to the front of that car. Very nice interior, well done race room for the new release, uh, newly released content. Uh, this is the first time I've driven this car and actually in fact driven around Moscow Raceway on this game. So you're going to be presented with your first corner which is the left hand, uh, it's 90 degrees and it goes slightly uphill afterwards. Probably the best, probably the best comparison would be maybe Singapore. No, not Singapore. What's the other one? Mon uh, da, 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 da. Is it Las Marina in Formula One? Where it kind of goes uphill and then left. But anyway, it's a third gear corner. Breaking down. Stay on the right hand side. You can be aggressive on the curves if you want, and you should be fully off the brakes now and turning in. Back on the throttle again, accelerating slowly, and you should end up on the right hand side of the track. Now, the thing to bear in mind about Moscow is it's a lot slower than what you may think. So, instantly on the brakes again, once you have passed the curbing on the right hand side of the track, down in second gear and hug that inside line. Do not go into the mid, uh, mid uh, was it right hand side of this circuit, because it is a double apex corner, and you can start to accelerate once you're past the second apex and you should be mid-circuit upon the exit. And now you're presented with uh, almost like a flat version of Shanghai Turn 1. Go over to the right-hand side to start with because you can, you're going to dive down in one, a nice straight braking reference. Come off the throttle once you've reached the curbing on the right-hand side, down into second gear, and you want to be aiming for the curbing on the left here. Follow it around and just keep that momentum going car is still decelerating and look for that apex on the inside. There it is, you've got the horrible red curbing on the inside, so stay off that stuff and then just wait for that opportune moment to accelerate. Once you pass the apex, there you go, job done. Instantly now, go to the right hand side of the circuit, off the gas again, no braking required here though, you want to just keep that speed that you've lost already from the previous corner. You want to be mid circuit upon the exit here, we kind of screwed it up a bit because we had to do a double turn in so you can carry a bit more speed than what I did and then you're accelerating out onto what is kind of a straight so obviously we didn't take in enough speed we lost it a bit there as you can clearly see that's why we had to do a bit of counter steering you can full throttle the rest of the circuit here so as long as you hit the apexes over to the left fourth gear already picking up speed using all those horses that the BMW has to offer hit the right hand apex as well, full speed again and let the car just straighten out onto the left hand side of this track and then what you need to do is prepare for the next corner which is on the right, uh, going left and then it's an instant right afterwards, so go over to the right hand side of the track use the 100, I think that's 200 meter board this is where you need to start thinking of slowing down because this 200 meter board isn't 200 meters to the corner we're using it's 200 meters to the alternate version which cuts out this chicane here so 200 meter board on the right hand side is your braking point fourth gear down third gear keep braking and hit this left apex on the left on the left hand side second gear as well stay on the left still and wait for that turn in which is now and then you want to hit that apex on the right car sounds very unhappy indeed going up there but it's not just the BMW that is going to either and now you just keep that speed you can add a bit more throttle but you want to hug the inside line of this curb here and accelerate out because now that horrible horrible corner is now complete I really don't like it there so now up to third gear for the left hander that's coming up so stay on the right hand side back down to second gear using the brakes as well hit that apex and then you want to be mid circuit as well so don't carry too much speed into that corner because otherwise you'll screw up the next one maintain that speed again this is a very slow circuit 
hit the apex on the right hand side or the, the curbing and start to accelerate now again another inst pretty much instant corner start braking again there's hardly any rusting here at Moscow Raceway and you're waiting for that apex to go it's a really late corner here just keep decelerating keep decelerating until now which is when you can reapply the gas again so really late apex there you can use the curbing quite aggressively here I uh, didn't get a slowdown or anything whether that you're meant to be able to do that I don't know but we didn't get our lap compromised on the right hand side of the track now using your brakes again wait a bit longer this time for your turning because this one is also really late and it's going uphill as well so it will naturally slow you down for you and you want to be mid circuit again not too much speed so we're going further over to the right and instantly slow down as soon as your car straightens up a bit like Suzuka if you want a comparison and hug this inside line you can barely see it in the corner of the the front windscreen and start to accelerate now once you can see that once you're in line with the curbing here that's when you can start to accelerate and on to the back straight we go that is pretty much it for Moscow it's a very tricky circuit to master but can be rewarding um, it's a bit I think it's one of the most frustrating tracks I've driven on because it's just a lot slower than what you think it is and we just missed the last corner which is the 200 metre board on, on or see the 100 metre board on the right hand side that's your braking point braking heavily down through the gears I'm turning in now and that is a full lap of Moscow Raceway the full version so let's go around the track at full speed now and get you guys an idea of what it's going to look like there you have it that's the full Moscow Raceway walkthrough for you we're going to be racing 25 minutes with GTR 3s at this circuit this Sunday at Czech Flag Endurance uh, it's a public service so feel free to pop by if you wish um, that is it for this one I hope it, you did enjoy it I hope it helped you get faster around this track it's a very tricky one and the BMW M6 is now released so happy days everyone's smiling so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time